Nothing yet. What makes this slave so bold as to enter my chambers? Tell me, slave, are you insane or do you have a death wish? I've been asked to kill you, and I hate to disappoint. <laughs> Skisk. Kill her. I'm your master now. <sighs> Clever. Zash must have stayed up many a night to think of that one. I suppose you'll be sending my bodyguards away now, or maybe you'll order them to kill me. It should at least be entertaining. Tear him to pieces. You shouldn't have done that. The bodyguards, they're nothing. Show. But you subverted my authority, took my slaves from me, and that makes me angry. And killing you will be over too soon. No, I think you're going to have to suffer first. This! Ha! Ah, did you... Zash! Zash! You've killed me! Don't blame Zash. This is all me. Mindless. You don't know what Zash can do. Think... Think of how many years she must have spent Plotting my death. She will kill you. Just like she's killed me. Zash would never do such a thing.
destination. Enjoy your stay. Money's always good here. Come again. When I'd heard she'd taken up with a Mandalorian, I was scandalized. Just scandalized. A Mandalorian? Does nobody value Sith blood these days? I know. I know. Don't you think so, Zash? I'm sorry. Will you excuse me? I need to have a quick chat with my apprentice. If you must. Now, as I was saying. Thank the Emperor you've arrived. It doesn't matter how much one drinks. These parties are just dull, 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 dull. I hope you've come to cheer me up. I have dismantled the machine. He's dead then? Excellent. You have performed magnificently, Apprentice. None of this would have been possible without you. Old Zash. Darth Anaton. I'm honored. Uh, yes, I'll just let you two chat. Don't go anywhere just yet, Apprentice. This call won't take long, and I have some further instructions for you. As I said, my lord, I'm honored, but why call me? You have nerve, Zash. Nerve. But I thought you were smarter. With all respect, Darth Thanaton, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play ignorant with me, Zash. Scotia's dead, and you killed him. Scotia? Dead? That's the first I've heard of it. When did this happen? Just now, Zash, and you know it. What did you expect to gain? His position? His title? You know it doesn't work that way. Where's your discretion? Discretion? I've been at this party for ages. I may have had a little much to drink, but I'm fairly certain I haven't murdered anyone. Though I have always fancied Scotia's chambers. So much more shelf space. Zash, I don't want to have this conversation by Hollow. Report to my chambers immediately. Yes, Darth Anaton. It'll be my pleasure. Are we in trouble? Give me time to talk to Thanaton and then meet me in Darth Scotia's chambers. And don't worry, you've played your part, now it's time for me to play mine. We did it, Apprentice.
There she is. It's Lord Zash's apprentice. Surely she knows. You wouldn't tell us if she did. Still, it doesn't hurt to ask, does it? Colonel, let it rest. I will not let it rest. Everyone knows Lord Zash was at the party when Scotia was killed, and yet everyone knows she killed him. She somehow devised a way of being in two places at once. If I let it rest, we'll all be dead. Don't be silly. I'm the one who killed Scotia. Now you're the one who's being silly. I wouldn't underestimate her, Colonel. She looks dangerous enough to me. But a Dark Lord of the Sith? She's only an apprentice, Calaveras. Please, you must tell me. How did Zash kill Darth Scotia? Lord Zash is innocent. Clearly she's not going to tell you, Colonel. Let it rest. Fine then, fine. But I'm warning you, Calaveras. Lord Zash is becoming too powerful too quickly. Since when has anyone in the history of the Sith committed a murder so brazenly, yet made it appear that she was somewhere else the entire time? It's enough to wake the Emperor, I tell you. Perfect timing, Apprentice. I just met with that insufferable Thanaton, and I have good news. How did your meeting go? You would have been proud of me. I went into a reprimand, but I emerged a Darth. You've certainly earned it. I did more than you realize. Nevertheless, what's important is that we are finally free to act. Remember the map you found on Korriban that pointed us to the power of Tulak Horde? The first piece of that artifact, that power, is here on Drummond Kaas. This piece is in the deepest chamber of the Dark Temple. Scotia always hoarded the key to the chamber like a hut hoards his credits. Now I have Scotia's title, his chambers, his research, and his key. He always said I would enter the Dark Temple over his rusting corpse. However, I won't be the one to go into the Dark Temple. You will. I always have to do your dirty work. Listen to me. There's a reason I picked my apprentice from the lower classes. A reason you, and not that blue blood fawn, had to come here. Before I went to Korriban to choose an apprentice, a furious apparition awakened in the Dark Temple, implacable in its anger, murdering all who trespassed on the innermost chamber. But I had a dream. An apprentice of low origin humbled himself, or herself as it happened, before the apparition, pacifying it. That's why you and your peers were chosen. I always knew I was special. You've been a far more capable apprentice than I ever hoped. But for this task, you must put aside your pride. You must go into the temple and face the apparition. And when you do, I believe that your humility will be the key. Still, I want you to know, I'm not certain you're the one from my dream. I fear I may be sending you to your death. You're a Sith. Start acting like one. You're right. You retrieved the Holocron from Korriban when no one else could. If that's not proof of your destiny, I don't know what is. Tulak Horde's power awaits us both. We must not lose sight of this goal. Use this glyph to enter the innermost chamber of the Dark Temple. Humble yourself before the apparition and bring back the piece of the artifact. <laughs> 